Hi guys, it's Amy from Little Farm Quilts. Welcome to my floss tube. Today is Saturday, August 13th, 2022. I don't know what floss tube number this is and I no longer put that in my video titles. Um, and you're here for my Saturday update. If you're new to my channel, uh, I hope you find something you like here. If you're returning, thanks for watching. I appreciate the support. I do have a giveaway. For this video at the end and I also have some other news towards the end um, of things that are in the works <laughs> so um, I guess I have an FF I have a finish not an FFO because it's not fully finished and just you know full disclosure I've already tried to record this once and mistakenly I tried to do it on my computer which then told me I didn't have enough memory to store any more videos um, Anyway, I'm always having issues recording. Um, and heads up, I also have a knitting whip to show. But here's my finish. If you were watching me last week, you this will be no surprise to you. This is Jackrabbit. This is by Cottage Garden Samplings. This is Year in the Woods. It is stitched on 36 count spring by Picture This Plus. Two threads over two. Some of the called for, mostly a stash dive on this one. And in full disclosure, I did not stitch all these pollen spots on here. I just like the cleaner look without those. Plus I think the blue is pretty bright and I think to put that in, so I won't be stitching those pollen spots on any of the spring animals. This is finish number three for me. So I finished this on Sunday with Gail from Gail's Gold Needle. And we started, let me fold this over because they're all on the same piece, the raccoon. So the raccoon's gonna look like this with the exception of those pollen spots. And I'm doing the raccoon with mostly called for. I think it's all called for actually. So I start the tail and then I have the stalk here with the flower. And I've started that. Uh, so that will go back on the frame and get more love tomorrow. If you've been around enough, you know that I am I try to stitch in hand. Uh, when I can't stitch in hand or my hands bother me, I will end up putting everything back on frame, which is what happened today. <laughs> everything went back on frames and school rods. Um, and I'll go back in my Lowry. I should probably just keep stitching that way and be done with it. I just find stitching in hand way more convenient and, um, you know, it is what it is, right? Mm. Second whip I worked on is Southern Land. This is from Owl Forest Embroidery. I'm stitching this on 36 count white Edinburgh linen with the called for DMC. this up here or hold it like this let's turn this around so you can't see the pattern through let's see if that helps there you go all right so I finished this motif right here and I worked on the center one and I think I started that bobble right there uh, this will continue to get work for me uh, pretty regularly for right now. I enjoy stitching on it. I'm still feeling like finishing some things. I have more um, whips that I put in frames. So if I have time, I might review what I've actually pulled out that, to potentially be worked on. I'm trying to get as much stitching time as I can. And um, But with weekly updates, I'm going to have less to show anyway. The other thing that I've worked on is uh, yesterday, Friday the 12th, was World Cross Stitch Day. And Kim from Stitch and Stuff, Carolyn from Carolyn Zook, and Tina from Tina Stitches have a sale going along for the stitching shelf with Amy Stewart, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. And if you haven't seen it, let me show it to you. There it is. I'm stitching it on 28 count 
Lugana, two over one ten stitch. So I worked on this yesterday and I've been working on it today. And let's see if I can get a piece of paper to go behind here. It's pretty bright today, as you can tell. And that's where I'm at. So all the threads hanging. I've been, for those of you that have been following along, I've been converting all of mine to Royal Rose. So this is 10 by 20s done all the way across the page. And then I went down here to do another 10 by 20 block and I'm working my way over across the page. I've decided to do it Royal Rose by the page. And I don't know. Sometimes the, the parking does not bother me and other times I look at it and get totally nuts about it. So we'll see. I'm trying to stay organized with that stitching I've worked on it today. Um, I may work on it this evening, but then tomorrow I'll go to Year in the Woods to work on the raccoon with Gail. So, but this week I've definitely been on a little bit of a full coverage kick. Plus, an update came through on Pattern Keeper where you can use the mock-up as a thumbnail within Pattern Keeper. So, that helped me a ton. So, let's do this. The other full coverage I worked on <laughs> is this one. It's called... Oh, oh. Hold on. Is this one? It's called World of Disney. I don't remember what Etsy shop I originally got this at. They're no longer in business, but this pattern is available elsewhere. Um, and I am way up in this corner with Mickey. I'm stitching on a 28 count mushroom Lugana, two over one tent. And it was funny because I just had a conversation with a friend of mine about this particular project because it is so large. It's on 36 inch scroll rods. Now, that being said, um, that's not the only really large project I got going right now. Um, and I was going to just ditch the project, really. And she said, why well, do that? If you enjoy stitching on it, you should just keep stitching on it. So um, I'm going to continue working on it, I think. So let's get, this is hard to show. It's a long scroll. Let me see if I can get this. So this is where I'm at. I'm also converting this to Royal Rose, I think. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll leave this one as just stitching in. But I may... I had thought about stitching in all my threads and getting them worked in. Um, Cause sometimes I think I just like a project that doesn't have a bunch of threads parked. But as you can see, Mickey's head is making some progress. Um, I've definitely been oh, on a full coverage kick this week. And I think that is all that I've worked on whip-wise, except for my socks. So let's look at my socks. So if you're not a knitter, um, it's okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I knit when my eyes are too tired to stitch. Uh, I have, I'm almost to the toe decrease on my one sock. So as soon as I get the toe decrease in this sock finished, I will move to the other sock, which as if you recall is knitted almost down. I think it's one row away from a heel. I'm hoping my goal has been to knit more regularly instead of just sitting to knit. So I take these, that's one of my travel projects as the socks. Um, because I can knit anywhere and don't have to worry about magnification or anything like that. Um, I think now we'll just move into haul. So I am part of Lindy Stitches Bird Crush Club, the latest installment, and I believe I've showed you the others. The latest installment is the Lewis Woodpecker, which I think the picture goes like this. So this is a picture of it stitched. And as you know, these come with a bunch of stickers. They also come with a Threadworks floss. 
which I think, if I'm looking at the picture right, goes in the belly. Nope. It's the brown for the tree. So I wonder what they use for the belly. They must use, she must use different colors in there to get that effect. So that's that. The other haul I have relates to the giveaway, right? So I've contacted everybody that said fobs and minders. I haven't had any response to my contacts, so those are still holding. I'm gonna let it go one more week. If I wanted you to send me your address, I replied to your comment on my YouTube. Uh, you still have time to do that, and I will happily send those out. I ordered another bag. And the reason I ordered this bag, so my husband and I recently went on, recently went on an RV trip and we did, we traveled part of Route 66. I got some very good pictures on Route 66 of some nostalgic things. Um, an old gas station that had been preserved back to, I think the 1950s, um, complete with gas pumps that say 33 cents per gallon. And I have edited those photos and are going, I'm going to upload some of them into cross stitch patterns. So my plan is to stitch the gas station one um, for my husband and I to hang on the wall to be a memento for our trip. That pattern may also end up for sale. So we'll see how it goes, uh, but there's your heads up on that. So I got in touch with Tiff, well I ordered a bag from Tiffany at Black Cat X Stitchery. Let me show you her card. There's that. I love her bags. I've met her in person. Um, we've chatted. Um, she's just great. She's great. So I like to support small business just as I would love, you know, people to support my channel. So I buy a bag from her every so often and love them. She's very good at what she does. So just in case you want to take a picture of this to get you to her, I'm going to do that. So Black Cat Extra Tree. So I ordered a bag from her for that gas station cross stitch that I'm going to be creating. And I ordered the Patriotic Trucks just because I thought, I'm patriotic anyway. And it's going to be an old pattern for gas stations, and I thought this suited well. So this is the back. This is the front. And when she sends it to you, there's a little, there's a tea bag in here. There are floss drops in here. She's got a little black cat charm on her bag. It is so stinking cute. And there, it's just a good bag. And look at the coordinating fabric. Doesn't that just set the other fabric off? And inside, there's a little, I forget what she calls them. I should have brought the sheet in here. Um, but it's a little like thread minder. It snaps, and you can put all your orts and all your thread pieces there. You can put needles there. And again, flat cat extra tree there. And Tiffany was so nice that she sent me an extra bag and I'm going to offer it up as a giveaway for you guys. So this is the extra bag. It is another patriotic truck bag. And here's the front. And it has floss drops, a tea bag, and, and Tiffany's card in it. And the classic black cat charm. So somewhere in your comment, I'd like you to use the word truck. And then next week, I will use the random comment generator and I will pick a winner for this bag and I will get that out to you. Okay. It's a short one, guys. 15 minutes. I thought I stitched more than that, but I don't know. I guess I didn't. Let's look at a couple things that I put on frames to stitch on. So I'm not going to pull the charts. This is Halloween Quaker uh, by Lila Studio. So this might get love this week. I've got Royal Holiday 
back on a frame. She might, and look at all the threads on her. She might get some love this week. What else do I have down here? I also have cinnamon stars on a frame. So we'll see. Those are the things I felt like today. So I got them ready. So those are all ready for me to pick up and stitch. Don't forget, use truck somewhere in your comment and you will be entered into the giveaway for the bag from Black Cat Extra Tree. I hope you guys have a great Saturday. Take care of each other. We'll see you soon. Bye.